Hello. Some painters like to use pre-stretched canvases. However, many painters prefer to make their own. So today I'm going to take you through how to stretch your own canvas. So, here we've got the materials you'll need to stretch a small canvas. We have the stretcher bars, a heavy duty staple gun, scissors or a craft knife, wooden wedges that will usually be free when you buy the stretcher bars, a set square, a hammer, a ruler, sandpaper, and the canvas or linen of your preference. First, assemble the stretcher bars, making sure they are all the same way up. The side with the lip you can see here is the side that will be against the canvas. Use a hammer or mallet to tap the stretchers so that they fit tightly together. You'll see that I've used a spare wedge to protect the stretcher from getting dented by the hammer. On larger canvases, you will need to add wooden crossbars to give strength to the larger stretcher frame. At this point, you need to check your stretcher is square. You can use a set square or line up the corners with something that you know is square, like a sheet of square board or your work surface, or you can measure from corner to corner to make sure the distances are equal. Here, as it's a smaller stretcher, I'm using a set square. Next, lay down your canvas, which you will have cut to about 20 centimeters larger than the dimensions of your stretcher. This stretcher is 30 by 25 centimeters, so the canvas is approximately 50 by 45 centimeters. Remember your canvas has to wrap around the edge and back of the stretcher with a little bit extra. On one of your longer edges, line up the canvas with the back edge of the stretcher and space at the middle of the stretcher. Now staple outwards from the center to the edges, giving about two fingers distance between each staple. Go to the opposite side, stretching as tight as you can with your thumb and fingers. Now staple the center first and then work your way out. On larger canvases, you will need canvas pliers to help make the stretching easier. Trim the excess canvas using the stretcher bar as a guide. Either use scissors or a craft knife but take care to keep the blade short so that you don't accidentally cut the surface canvas. When tackling the shorter edges, push the canvas in on itself, then pull the canvas over itself. This is often called a hospital corner or a mattress corner. You can then staple that corner like this. Repeat on the other side and work from the center out, equally spacing your staples, trimming as you go. and again on the other end. By now, you should have a reasonably tight canvas. To make it tighter still, which will be important when you're applying pressure and rough techniques to your canvas, you should add the wooden wedges. These will either be supplied with your stretchers or you may have to ask for some when buying. Using a hammer, Tap the wedge closest to the canvas surface in first, then rotate your canvas and tap in the second wedge. Repeat this for all four corners. Wedges force the stretching bars wider, tightening the canvas further. It's worth rechecking that your canvas is still square at this point. Your canvas should now be as tight as a drum and ready for priming. Thank you for watching. Thank you.